So you say you have an idea for the next best thing in the local food industry, but you don't know how to launch it. Well, now there's help available. Kitchen 66 might be the answer. Our guest is program director Adele Beasley. Welcome, child. It's good to have you with us. Thank you. I feel like such an old guy today. I guess it's because of food. When I start to think about food, I want to get to it and just dig in. I'm a, I'm a food junkie. You're a foodie? Oh, boy, am I ever. I read about this interesting concept in the Tulsa world, and i got to tell you, this has been needed for a long, long time. You guys deal with those out there who have a passion for either a product, an edible product, or they want to start a food business, a restaurant, or a food truck, or whatever, and then what do you do with them or for them? Yeah, so the idea is how do we help kickstart local food companies? So like you said, everything from a, a salsa maker to a food truck owner, we help uh, provide what we see as key resources. So we provide commercial kitchen space. We provide business training that walks people through the, the launch process. So everything from how do you price your cookie or your product uh, to how do you determine who your customer is mm -hmm. and what are the best ways to distribute your, your product. And then from there, how do you scale? How do you, what are different funding options? But you also deal in preparation of food as well. I, it's my understanding, correct me if I'm wrong, you'll be utilizing the kitchen facilities at the old Sun Building? Yeah, exactly. They wow. have a 9,000 square foot kitchen space on the first floor. And we'll be opening that up to kitchen rental and also for program participants. They can rent by the hour different stations. So whether you're a baker or a juicer or a caterer, uh, we'll have multiple teams operating out of the same space. You know, it, it, the, I've read several accounts that there, there is a weight problem in Oklahoma. Well, yeah, sure, if you, you, know, if you mainline gravy, you're going to get fat. <laughs> but there are so many True. edible options out there, healthy ones as well. Uh, and we have such an array, so much influence in terms of food and preparation of food, Will you guys be able to help folks who come in and say, look, I got an idea. I want, to do, I want to do East Indian food, and I don't know how to prep it. Right. So the idea is to connect people to resources, too. So we understand that we have expertise in different areas of launching a business, but mm -hmm. there's also great leaders and experts in the Tulsa and Oklahoma community that we're trying to pull from. Uh, so if somebody has an idea for an East Indian restaurant, uh, we're going to work on how can we connect them to the right people to, to bring that concept to life. This would be a good opportunity for you to do a terrific public service, if you wouldn't mind. The food trucks that we see out and about, and they turn out some great dishes, I've got to tell you. But they got to meet a certain standard. They have to be licensed, don't they? Right. What do they have to go through to get a license? Right, so you have to go through a couple different phases, which can be a huge barrier to people to get started. Uh, so you have to have a licensed commercial kitchen space to, to open a company. Uh, and that can be expensive and it can also be timely. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so the idea with this too is that you can test an idea in the short term without investing into your own location and without investing into your own commercial grade equipment too. So you don't just take an old bread truck and put a Coleman stove in it and have a go at it. <laughs> Right, it needs to be clean and sanitary so that <laughs> we, can, we can all stay healthy too. I got gotcha. you. Do you find there's been much interest from folk out there once the announcement was made? Are people anxious to take advantage of your services? You know what it comes to be, it's, it's true. <laughs> we had our hypotheses that uh, people would be interested in needing these resources and we've had over 40 applicants. Already? Uh, already. So there, there is a clear need and, and we're going to be full. <laughs> no kidding. So. You know, as many hunters as we have here in Oklahoma, it would seem to me there's got to be some way to take advantage of teaching folk how to prepare game meat. You know, venison, quail, pheasant, whatever. Because we have, it's, it's in abundance here and in Kansas uh have you had anybody walk through the door and say i want to start a gaming restaurant or 
You know, I, I don't think we've had specifically gaming, but we ha have had different people that have ideas that would require different types of kitchen spaces. So mm -hmm. there's manufacturing kitchens versus c commercial commissary kitchens. And so we're going to be connecting in with the Tulsa Health Department to make sure that our kitchen can can be available. I know and useful people, for as a general rule, are just innovative as the Dickens, uh, and you're going to find folk, as you well know, out there that took Grandma's recipe for cranberry sauce and added something to it, and said, "I've got a brand new item here." Do you find folks walk through the door or call you and say, "I got the next big thing"? Has that happened yet? <laughs> it has happened. Wow. People are excited and they know their recipes. And that's the idea is, you know, everybody has their next door neighbor or cousin or grandmother that has a knockout recipe. And this is a way for, for you know, them to take it to the big time and to have the support uh, that they need. And you know so. what, you, you say that lightly, but there is big money in the food big time, is there not? And it's, it's getting bigger too. Yeah. So definitely if, if the food industry is a very interesting space. And so right now we're, we're trying to take how, how can great companies come out of Tulsa and Oklahoma too. I think this is a well-deserved industry and it's all a result of, of what, money that came from a, a local foundation? Yeah, this is a program of the Lubbock Taylor Family Foundation. So they're a foundation in town that has specifically focused their efforts on growing entrepreneurship and in this case, specifically food entrepreneurship. Uh, so, so they're looking to, to invest and to support and, and always possible how, how to grow, grow, grow Tulsa in this area. All right, we, we have about a minute left. Okay. Let's say for example, somebody's watching this right now and they've got an idea of something they'd like to try. They want to get in touch, how do they do it? Kitchen66tulsa.com. We'll be accepting applications through November and we'll, we're set to launch at the first of the year. Uh, so somebody should get in touch, send an interest form in or email us on the website uh, and so we can, we can take it to the next step. How many can you handle at one time? We're, we're going to find out. <laughs> we're really? taking definitely yeah. at least five to ten for the first cohort uh, and then we'll, we'll look to see what the capacity of our space can handle. It's got to be an exciting time for you guys to, sign, to find out what's out there. <laughs> yeah. and say, you're going to help them with the rules and regs but at the same time some folks are going to be culinary inventive. We're excited for the next year and to, to see what it brings. Adele, thank you. Thank you. For taking time. And if you need a sampler, <laughs> somebody just to drift through the kitchen and sample, okay. I volunteer. Not paid, of course. I'll just come in, you know, and sample the wares. Thank you again for coming in. And let's check back and get together again maybe six months from now and see where you are, all right? Okay, great. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. That's all the time we have for this edition of Perspectives. We uh, thank you for joining us and we'll see you again next week.